In stage one, the future Iran car player starts the game for the first time with minimal knowledge, if any. At best, they know they need to die to become a lost soul, and from there they can choose their class. The future Iran car player might want to become a Soul Reaper or Quincy at first, but then choose to become an Iran car because they can't find the NPCs or gates to Soul Society and Wandenreich. Alternatively, someone tricked them into pressing Alt and K, and they're forced into a hollow without a way to wipe because it costs 500 Robux. The future Iran Carmain is now a hollow. At this point, he's probably still just as clueless and attacks everything and everyone he sees without realizing he can't even eat player hollows, which is dumb, they should be able to. Regardless, they continue to progress as a hollow until stage three. Join my Discord in the description and comment section down below. Join the Discord, join it now, you have to join the Discord. Join the Discord! After progressing for a while, they reach a huge stage of boredom. Lots of players might even quit the game during this stage. This either happens when base hollow progression is going slow or during Menos progression because the new player doesn't know about the Menos forest. This might even lead to some players removing their mass as a Menos to become an Iran car sooner, which is a bad choice that lots of people make when they have very little knowledge on the game, which is why Menos cars were much more common in the earlier days of the game when it first came out. Look at your dumb ass, big nose, have an ass motherfucker. You have zero purpose. Your ass is just gonna end up wasting a soul ticket because your stupid Pinocchio ass mask actually makes you way weaker than a regular Ajikar Arankar. And now you need to wipe yourself before you waste slots in my raid and sell me in Gladiator during a 27v3. You're garbage. This is a huge slowdown point for most players, because the progression as an Iran car completely changes, especially because many people actually don't realize that even if you're solo, you for some reason still need to create a party to do missions. Not only that, but the Iran car kill missions are actually quite hard to do as a grade 5 and 4, because they do too much damage, so if you're just spamming M1 and they parry you and keep trading hits, you're going to eventually die. And this can start to make the Iran car main very angry. The Iran car main has become to get angry with the game. Progression is long and annoying to do solo because the best way to kill Iran car NPCs is to run away and let them hit each other when you're too weak to kill them. The timers on ranking up is also starting to get annoying because although they can farm me XP, they either don't know that what they're doing or they're wasting time without making actual progress, which leads to anger clips like this. Are you getting like now I'm getting two of you on demand. Like, I can't get a 1v1! What I can't! Hey, <laughs> <that, bro. laughs> Not a single 1v1 in the past 24 hours! <laughs> Only getting jumped! Wait, that's on me full! Wait, that's fucking on me full, bro! I can't! <laughs> Just let me I run one! That. OMG! Wait. Please! Oh my god! Please! Just one! After reaching higher grades, the Iran Carmain now starts to become strong enough to actually progress on his own. Progression takes longer, but it's usually becoming way smoother since he can now farm missions on his own properly. The Iran car player has now reached at least grade 2 within stage 7, and is now going on the long mission of getting their partial resurrection. Some Iran cars get lucky like me and end up with Stark as their first res. Others get poison. In this stage, a lot of Iran cars get angry, like every other stage, at either the final jump in the obby, players attacking them while they're walking to the void pit, or hollow NPCs dropping out of the sky just to ruin your day. The Iran car player has all finally finished his build and reached elite grade. This took anywhere from two days to a week and a half. The Iran car player will either commit to going for full res or just continue playing the game as normal without going on the grind to complete the res stages. Because they don't see it as worth their time, especially because many people believe this game is actually going to die in a few weeks, like Arcane Odyssey, which is why I'm grinding content on it. Other players will move on to stage 9 as I did.
The Iran Karmain has started the ultimate grind. The first stage of res is painful. It's easily the hardest stage of the three. The ranked method is nearly impossible, but many people attempt it since all you need is one grip on a highly ranked player. Sadly, that won't happen as they all have a 20-man gank squad with at least four healer builds and Bankai or full res. Alternatively, they try to get full res with the raid method, since it's the most consistent since farming ones and ranked raids can yield you up to 80 raid wins a day if you're grinding super hard. At stage 2, they usually choose to get boosted, which it really isn't that hard to do, you only need 40 player kills, some hollow kills, and worm kills. And in stage 3, the rest is basically free, and they can finally enjoy the broken satisfaction of being able to one-shot people with stark res. Yes, I'm making a video soon on stark full res, so don't worry. At stage 10, the Iran Karmain has reached the stage of enlightenment. He is now amazing at the game, but only really fights when needed because he can usually one combo most people anyway, so nobody except legendary Bankai users are actually a threat anymore. The Iran Kar player has found inner peace. Alternatively, they're extremely toxic and just use full res to kill every single person they see, and they act brain dead pressing two buttons to kill you before you can even land a single combo. Stage 11. This is the secret stage. Most people, including myself, will never get to it. The gambling addict. Addicted to getting the new perfect build. You spend time, money, and robux in order to get new resurrections, new weapons, new clans, and new cosmetics. This person usually already has full res and are just trying to find something else to do in the game, which is why they keep gambling for their little dopamine hits whenever they get a cool eye color or a nice clan marking. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but ice cream tier list time! Alright, so first of all, vanilla is B tier for baseline. Since it's so basic, we need to keep it as a gold standard, so Hagen does vanilla is going in B. Chocolate is also going to be B because I know a lot of people like it, but me personally, I see it as a cross grade to vanilla, and it's just as good, but still pretty basic. Strawberry, although basic, is going in A tier. I love strawberry ice cream. The strawberry chunks are good, the strawberry flavoring uses all natural and good, it's good, A tier. Caramel Cone is S. It's caramel, enough said, I love caramel. American Dream from Ben & Jerry's is S. I still love caramel. And then also in S is any flavor of gelato from the brand Talenti. More specifically, Mango Raspberry, Bourbon Fudge Brownie, and Vanilla Caramel Swirl. These are all going in S because I love Talenti. Have a good day, and goodbye. Also, if I missed any good ice cream flavors or maybe a stage within the video, leave it in a comment I'll give you my tier of the ice cream flavor or I'll tell you what I think of your own personal stages. And you can also leave comments to tell me what stages you guys are in. I hope you enjoyed, have a great day, buy a YouTube membership, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, give me your money, and goodbye.